Are you one of these people who has more of a brown thumb than a green thumb? Are you often disheartened by the killing of once thriving plant life? Well, congratulations, because as it turns out, you have all the skills necessary to become a successful farmer. And that's because of the first rule of agriculture, which is that agriculture is mostly about killing stuff. Take this field behind me, which used to be a massive, luscious forest filled with literally billions and billions of organisms. Now it's absolutely nothing but profit. And even if you're one of these small-scale, fancy-pants, ecological farms, you can still follow the first rule of agriculture very successfully. And so long as you just don't explain the first rule of agriculture to your customers, sort of like Fight Club, then you can spin it into all kinds of marketable and profitable buzzwords. For example, let's take this uh, let's take this edible fruit tree, which is growing here all over the place and requires absolutely no work, no labor, no inputs at all. And it just gives me free fruit. Now you might think because I'm a decent looking millennial who owns some coveralls that I would never consider harming this plant to grow labor-intensive, energy-negative, annual vegetables, fossil fuel-dependent vegetables, right? That would be silly, right? Well, guess what? You'd be wrong. Because we might be no-till, but we're not no-knife. Hi-ya! 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 Saving the planet. No herbicides, no problem. No insecticides, who cares? Pollinators are slow as shit. Grab and smash. Grab and smash. So if you're looking for a new feel-good career and you're known to devalue life, consider starting a regenerative farm because you too can save the world. All you have to do is start by killing everything. This has been a Rotenbiller Farms video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to laugh. This has been a Rotenbiller Farms video production.